Hello and welcome to Starfish Maths. My name's Sarah and today I've got another video in the trigonometry series. Today we're going to look at the double angle formulae and this follows on nicely from the addition formulae so it might be worth checking my other video on that if you haven't already. These formulae you can easily derive and I'll do that for you at the beginning of this video. We're then going to look at three exam style questions the ones I'm using today are from the CGP revision book. As ever, please do grab a pen and paper and work alongside the video. Pause, rewind and fast forward as you need. I hope this is helpful. Let's get started. So these are the double angle formulae. And normally these aren't given to you in a formula sheet, so you do need to remember them, which is best, or you can derive them, which I'm going to show you how to do. Sin 2 theta and tan 2 theta only have one version. Cos 2 theta has three versions. They're all equivalent and you can swap between them and just use whichever one is best for the context of the question that you're doing. Let's look at how to derive these now using the addition formulae. We'll start with sine. Now the way to um, use the addition formulae on these is to write 2 theta as theta plus theta. Then you can use the addition formula. These are the same term with um, sine and cos the other way around. That's the same thing, so we can combine those. And then that is your double angle formula. Very straightforward. We'll do the same thing with cos now. Cos theta times cos theta is cos theta squared. We always write the squared before the theta for some reason. And the other thing to be aware of is that when it's adding an addition formula for cos, it switches the sign to minus. So that is one of the versions of the double angle formulae. Um, there are obviously two more for cos. And the way to flip between them is to write um, one of these using the identity that cos squared plus sine squared is 1. Just writing in shorthand here on the side, cos squared plus sine squared is 1, you should know that identity, and that 1 can be rearranged. So we'll substitute in cos squared first is 1 minus sine squared, minus sine squared and that gives you 1 minus 2 lots of sine squared. If at this point you substitute the sine squared version instead, so substitute sine squared as being 1 minus cos squared, then you'll get the third and final version. Have a go at that. I've kind of run out of space here, so I've sort of skipped a line of working, but expanding out that bracket, you, you get minus 1, and then the sign would change there to get plus cos squared, which combines with that one to give you 2 cos squared. All right, let's look at tan. Again, using the addition formula. Great, so that's how to derive them. Now let's use them in some questions. Here we have an equation which we need to solve. And the problem looking at it initially is we've got sine 2 theta and sine theta. So there's not a lot you can do until you expand that one out using the double angle formulae. Now we've got a common factor on both sides. We've got sine theta in both of these things. So we can move that across, get it equal to zero, and factorise. So this one gave, uh, sine theta of zero gave three solutions. 
um, and this one you can use either the cast diagram or the um, cos graph to find the solutions within the range that we've got. First solution is from the calculator. And of course, if you want to go over how to get multiple solutions, you can check out my other video on that. I'm going to look at a couple of proofs now because these are quite common. And here we've got to get all of this down to just cos theta. So it makes sense to start with this side and unpack it. So I'm going to start with the left hand side. And I'm going to apply the double angle formulae to both cos t theta and sine t theta. Have a go at that. We've obviously got a choice of three versions of the formula. Really, you can just um, try any of them until something works and looks like it's going in the right direction. I'm going to use the one that's got a sine theta in it because I know that the next bit coming up has got sine in it and I want to be able to combine things. So I'm going to try that one. Now I'm going to expand the brackets and collect terms. These terms are the same, that's 1 minus 1 plus, so they cancel out, leaving you with just cos theta, which is the right hand side. <laughs> that's my baby in the background. <laughs> Great, so that's proven. Well done, let's do the last one now. This one looks a little bit complicated, but um, I don't think it's that bad. It's got a cosec in it, so make sure you're happy with sec, cosec and cot, which is in another one of my videos, you can check that out. Um, I'm gonna start with the left-hand side. I might use the right-hand side as well and kind of meet in the middle because they both look like I can, I've got ideas of what I can do to both of them. Um, that side I can obviously use a double angle formula. Um, this side, whenever there's two separate fractions, it makes sense to combine them over a common denominator. So I'm going to do that first. <laughs> so the common denominator will be sine theta cos theta. So this side, this fraction, I'm going to times by cos theta on top and bottom. This fraction are times by sine theta top and bottom. Uh. Using the identity, I know that sine squared plus cos squared is 1. And from there, I'm a bit stuck, I don't know what to do. So I'm going to go back to the right hand side and work on that and see if it will look anything like that. So cosec is 1 over sine, so I'm going to write that as, I'm going to put that onto the bottom as sine 2 theta. Then I use a double angle. two uh, cancels on top and bottom, so that equals the left hand side. And that's proven. Well done if you're getting those, keep practicing. The proof questions and the identities can be quite tricky. I really enjoy them though, because um, once you've done a bit of trigonometry, you've got a few things you can use. You've got addition formulae, the double angle, you've got co uh, sec, cosec and cot, and it starts to feel um, like you've got a nice repertoire of things you can use. Um, sometimes it feels like you're going around in circles if you're not quite sure what to do, but just stay calm and try a few different things. If it's not really going anywhere, try a different approach. Um, but good luck, keep practicing. Hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.